thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review the Disney Villains 3 Doll Pack. Now, I found out about this doll set from one of my favorite websites, youloveit.com, love them. And there really wasn't much hoopla about these dolls. I was really surprised. So I went to the site, followed it. It wasn't available in the United States at the time. Stalked it for forever, found it, pre-ordered it, and it arrived early. Let's take a closer look. This is the shipper for the Disney Villains 3 doll pack. So let's get the shipper open. And it There we go. All right. Ooh, I'm liking what I see so far. And let's see. Ooh, what does it say? Contents. Three dolls. Cool. All right. So let's see if we can get the box out of the shipper. All right. What's so the back of the box? Oh, no. Maybe not. It just says Disney Villains. Interesting. So this is the box. Let's see, we turn it around. Oh, here we go. All right, so we've got all three of our characters. We've got the evil queen, Cruella de Vil, and also Yzma. So I'm gonna go in so that we can see the artwork. And of course, you can read about the characters. We'll start with the evil queen. And if you wanna read the information here, you can go ahead and do that in the language of your choice, no doubt. Also, we've got Cruella de Vil. And I'll go down here so that you can see the information on Cruella. Next, of course, we have Yzma. And I'm going to scroll down. Oh, I love her body. Scroll down to Yzma's information right there. And also, of course, we've got the information for Mattel and all of that stuff here. I'm gonna to return to the box. Let's flip it over to see the other side. This is actually a really nice box. I love all the colors and stuff that you can see. And of course, we've got the Disney villains here. So let's get the box open. And it looks like we've got a little tab here. So I'm gonna open the tab. I don't want to tear the box. I don't know if I'm going to keep the box or not. So until then, I want to keep it. Not Ooh, looks like there's even more boxing power packaging artwork inside. So let's see, that's really pretty. I'm going to pull the out and ooh, we've got our dolls. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to pull out so that you can see all three in this set, and they are one six scale. Now, I'm going to go in, of course, so that we can see our characters. We've got the evil queen here, and we also have Cruella, loving, and of course, Yzma. I'm just going to go down so that you can see what I am seeing, and I am loving what I am seeing so far. And it looks like I see shoes. And what about you, Yzma? Do I see shoes here too? I see shoes. So this is what I am gonna do. I'm gonna remove these dolls from the liner so that we could take a closer look at all three. So I wanted to take a close up of the Evil Queen from Snow White. One of the things I wanna mention is that the crown is actually removable. It actually kind of slides around. It looks like there should have been a string here to tie it, but or a rubber band but there isn't. So you can kind of push it to keep it snug. But for now, I'm actually going to remove it from her head so that we can just take a closer look and look at her screening. If you really look at those eyes, it really does kind of remind me of the eyes from the film and those lips. Oh, look at that face. So I'm actually gonna turn her to the side and I'm gonna burn this down so that you can see her screening and it is beautiful. Also, as you can see, her entire head is all black and it is bald so that it has kind of, I guess, the covering that she wore in the film. I'm gonna scroll down so that you can see some more detail and I will do a 360 
of this doll, but I do want to show you some details first. And you can see the rope here, and it's actually kind of a plastic, almost like a plasticky kind of thing. It's really thin, so it actually does kind of swing and move around. It's not too thick, but it is like plastic, and I think it is super cool. Thank goodness Mattel knows how to do toys. I do want to scroll down so that you can see her shoes here. And you can see she does come with removable high heels. And I'm going to pull back some more so that you can see some more details for this doll. First, I also want to show you her articulation. Her arms do move back and forth and up and down, but they do not bend at the elbow or at the wrist. And you can see she's quite fair here. Also, her knees, as you can see, do not bend as well, but they do move around. Also, the outfit is removable, and you can see from the back it has Velcro. So I'm actually going to remove this because I do believe that these dolls are redressable. And as you can see here, you can remove this. And I'm actually going to re just remove this belt so that we can see what's a doing underneath this costume. And as you can see, it looks like she has on a bodysuit very cool so you can still redress her the limitations are you know the thing that's on her head but really i think you can still have lots of fun redressing this doll her head is oh look it does kind of swivel around so actually if you did want to rebody her you could i would just make sure that you get her on a kind of a big enough body just because the head is rather large Let's do a 360 of Snow White's Evil Queen. So none of the dolls in this set come with a display stand. So this is just a display stand from my own collection so that I could show you the doll. And you can see the outfit from all angles. And I'm loving all of the different colors. They didn't just go really, really cheap. So I'm gonna go in, of course, and you can see her screening and the collar. One of the things I really love about the collar is that the Velcro is in the back as well to help keep it stiff. That's a really, really good thing. So whoever designed this really knows their dolls. I also like the fact that she actually does not come with hair. It's a money saving thing here, but it makes it really simple. I didn't have to worry about struggling with that black thing over her head. It's actually just molded on. I'm gonna go down so that you can see her billowing sleeves and you can see they have the gold trim on them. I also wanna go over here so that you can see the little brooch that is at the front of her gown. And it's a little plastic thing, but at least it's the right color. And you can see also the rope on her dress. I love that plastic rope. And you can't really see her shoes over here. I think they might peek out a little bit there. But it's a nice long gown. And you can see, again, the plastic rope that goes around her body. And that is the 360 of the Evil Queen from Snow White. Let's take a close look at Cruella and she is gorgeous. I am loving what I see here with her screening. Very cool. You can see those eyebrows and I love that she actually has rooted hair and it looks actually like it's styled quite nicely for the character. A lot of times when we've seen some of these dolls, their hair isn't done so nicely. So it's really nice to see. So that you can see her side profile here with the platinum side, very nice. Let's just scroll in just a bit, and then we'll turn her around so that we can see the raven side, very cool. And of course, I'll turn to the back so that you can see her hair, and it is really gelled down really stiffly, which I really appreciate, so then we don't have to worry about losing the style. Now, I'm gonna pull back so that we can see some more details about the doll and the outfit. So she does have some limited articulation. Her arms do move up and down and back and fro, but they do not bend at the elbow or at the wrist. A good thing is that this doll does kind of have her arms already kind of posed and it looked like she's actually ready to hold a little long, like one of those long cigarette holders, but she does not 
come with one. I did not see that in the box. Also, as you can see her hand, she has a ring that is in, and it's like the old school superstar Barbies where it's bored through the hand. And you can see that it's a painted on glove that goes up to, or past the elbow. Also, her articulation is limited with her legs as well as she does not bend at the knee, but at least the legs do move around. She also comes with this little fur stole, and it would have been nice if she came with a big giant fur coat, but I know they're trying to keep costs down, so this is what we get. So you may want to actually just add a coat from your own collection if you really want to go all out with this doll. Now the stole is removable, and as you can see back here, is actually connected together with an elastic band and also the dress is removable as well so that if you want to redress your Cruella you can do that. So I'm just actually going to remove the stole just so that we can see what's a doing here and I will do a 360 of the doll but I do want to see everything that I can. So this is her, her dress and actually it's quite cute and you can really redress this in so many different ways, just using this black dress as the base. Also, I wanna go up so that you can see she does have removable high heels as well. I'm gonna go back over here because I do wanna show you some details about the outfit. It is removable and on the back, it has the Velcro opening. So I'm actually gonna remove this and if you want to pause just to see the copyright information on her back, you can. But I'm going to keep going because I want to see what's a doing here with the redress possibilities. And let's see. So she's nude. Actually, so she is a nude doll with the molded on panties on to the doll. She does kind of have that Cruella de Vil shape to her, which is great. But you can still redress her in a lot of different outfits. So... Very cool. Let's do a 360 of Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. The dolls in this set did not come with display stand, so this is just a display stand from my own collection. And you can see this doll from all angles. I'm loving the hairstyle from behind. I did, do wish she did come with a longer coat, but I understand they're trying to save money. Let's go in on the screening and the hair. I am loving it. She has got that grin, but she's still pretty. And they really did a good job with the head sculpt. And you can see the hair. Again, they did a really good job with the hair. And you can see the stole hair. But I want to go in again on the screening. Look at those cheekbones. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scroll down so that you can see some of the detail like the ring and also the gown and the shoes which they have with the little clips on there thank goodness I'm going to keep those on there for a while also the stole is lined with the red and you can see that and of course loving this black gown that they have on her in case you want to see also some details with the hair. Really pretty, they did a really good job. I'm just like really in shock here. And you can see also the open hand, which I'm actually gonna start putting like a cigarette holder if I can find one and all sorts of goodies in her hand. And of course her high heel shoes, which are removable. I love that these dolls are redressable. That is, I'm not sure what sh shoe is gonna fit, but the fact that she can, now I'll just go hunting and find out what actually fits. Very cool. And that is the 360 of Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. I wanted to take a really close look at Isma, And as you can see, she's got the face, face, face. This is her side profile. The earrings are plastic and they are they move around. And it looks like her ears are pierced if you wanted to actually remove them. You could, but I don't know how it would work with trying to get those back in. I don't see, they're not like really easy to come out. So I'm assuming they're kind of plugged in there. I'm going to turn her to the side so that you can see her side profile, move her earring. And you can see she has got 
Jaw lines for days. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Love it. Love it. Also, this little fur thing is removable. So that if you want to retress her, you can. So I'm actually just going to remove that so that we can take a look. And it looks like it's actually glued. So I'm going to move that. And I'm going to pull it back again so that you can see the gown that she is wearing. And what I love about this is just a simple black base of a gown so that if you want to actually um, put accessories or anything like that you can she does have limited articulation so her arms do move back and forth up and down but they do not bend at the elbow or wrist the good thing is that they are in a nice fashion pose so that you can kind of still have fun playing with her in different ways if you want to set up scenarios or and all that. You can also see her body is really exaggerated, just like it is in the cartoon. And I absolutely love it. You can also see the dress is removable in the back with the Velcro. Before I remove the dress, I actually did want to show you also the split in the front. And it is quite nice and gorgeous. This dress is actually really really pretty and i'm going to go in also that we can see her removable shoes so very very nice i'm going to pull back some more because i do want to see what's a doing underneath this dress in case we want to do redress her in the future it looks like these got some glue dots to kind of secure the dress here and you can see oh she looked like that madam poster with a, remember that Madam poster? <laughs> so let's remove. And as you can see, she does not have on like visible panties, but she does have on the mold and on. Look at that waistline. Wow. Even the camera doesn't even know what to do. <laughs> let's do a 360 of Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove. So the dolls in the series did not come with a display stand, but if this one did, it would have to be really small in the waist because her waist is snatched. I think of all the outfits, I think hers is my favorite. I'm going to go in so that we, of course, can see the screening and her head sculpt. And she is everything she is from the movie. And I'm loving that little furry thing around her neck, and I love that it is removable. And this hat thing is not, but eh, I really wouldn't need it to be. You can see those earrings, and I'm going to, of course, go in so that you can see that crazy face. Ah, oh, love it. I'm going to go down so that you can see also her, look at that little tiny little waist, and that little arm, that bony little arm. And, of course, the back of the dress is really long and billowing, and I love it. Let's go to see that teeny tiny waist again. And actually, let's take a look at the front of the gown. You can see the removable shoes. Very nice. And I just love how this dress is cut. It's just it's really very nice. I'm actually looking forward to trying to redress her, but also playing with this thing and you can see it's the little fur thing is removable at the back and that's the 360 of Yzma from the Emperor's New Groove welcome to the villains edition of our panel first we have Ursula the Sea Witch. Next we have the Mistress of All Evil, Melissa Fit. And last but never least, uh, Lady Tremaine. <laughs> All right, ladies, what are your thoughts on the Disney Villains Three Doll Pack? Ursula, I'm going to start with you. And you say they all look like bags of bones. <laughs> and Melissa, think you have a note for me. And you say, I need Mattel to make a better version of me than the last one. <laughs> and Lady Tremaine. Hey, wait a minute. 
You're not Lady Tremaine. Look, it was Alyssa with a mask on all the time. Um, Alyssa, you might want to run. Molly, you in danger, girl. Thank you, panel. So the Disney Villains 3 doll pack is awesome. I love all three characters that they chose. I love that the dolls are redressable. Um, I also love, although that they have limited articulation, that they do at least have some articulation. I think what's also really cool about them is that they gave them actual individual body sculpts, which is really amazing. It really brought some more of the realism to the character. So this set is a must-have, in my opinion, for fans of Disney villains. These are the dolls that you want to have. So I hope that you like this video. And if you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do it today. You're going to miss out on great videos like this one. With a little subscribe button, you hit that and then you'll be notified of when I come up with new videos just like this one. So thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a great day.